Okay, welcome back to the Turing Vision Web UI. In this video series, we're gonna cover the section called cameras. So again, let's go ahead and log in with your Turing credentials at ai-video.turingvideo.com. Once signed in, we again, we see we default to the alerts page. We're gonna go just underneath that to the camera section. Selecting on cameras will bring me to a screen that gives me a snapshot of all of my available cameras in all of my sites. You see here, I've got my Learning HQ, I've got the Metal Company, and then I've got Wash and Dry. Those are the three sites I have. From any one of these, I can simply click on a particular camera. When I select that camera, we'll bring it up in Live View. I can go to the bottom right of the Live View screen and click on the maximum size window. And that is gonna take me to a full screen. To get back out of this, simply go back up in the top right, that same screen, you'll see where it says Close Window and I can get back to the screen I was just on previously. So we look under the live view screen, we see the name of the camera, main shop entrance, the site, the metal company. We have search all, little drop down menu. So again, I can search by people, vehicle, time. Again, that's going to look at hour, day, week, month, and custom. Then we have a duration. Under the duration, it defaults to one hour but we could do one hour, four hours, or 12 hours. And what specifically does that mean? So under one hour, this is our playback, one hour at a time. So we see we have 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 7 a.m., obviously working backwards from where we are now. If I scroll down, you see now there's the day before on Monday. If I scroll on down here further, you see there's Sunday. It's just going backwards in one hour increments. So let's just go up and select the playback time. I'm just gonna go to uh, this morning. And when I select that, you see it starts me at the top of the hour, and then it's gonna play through that entire hour timeline. Now, if I look in the timeline, you'll see it says a people event. And if I select that, it's gonna go over and play the event. If I go to the next one and I select it, again, it's gonna play that event. I kind of find it easier, especially depending on how many there are, is simply to use this left and right previous and next event. So if I do next event, it's gonna simply take me to the next event. And if I do it again, it's gonna take me to the next event. And I find that easy to go from event. Now you can jump ahead. Obviously this is just in the hour. Also, you have the option of in the bottom left of back 20 seconds and forward 20 seconds to find exactly what you're looking for. Now that's with an hour parameter. Let's go back up in the top left. You'll see the left arrow that takes us back. Let's look at this instead of a one hour duration, let's look at it in a four. So now you see it starts at 8, 4, 12. Now you see in the bottom it's listed from 8 a.m. all the way through 12 p.m. And then I can simply do the same thing. I could come over here to 9 and find an event. And I could click that and there's an event. Again, these left and right next events. I click that and it takes me to the next event. So again, makes this really handy to use and find your events from your playback. So if we look in the bottom right, we do see an archive option. Again, we've not discussed archive yet. I'm going to do that separately in its own training. Now you can go and archive some footage that you can have stored in the cloud. So from this screen, you have two options. You can look up in the top left of the live view and just hit the back button or the left arrow, or I can just come over and simply click on the word cameras again, and it would take me back to my screen with all of my thumbnails. So from in here, I have the option again, like I say, click on any camera, or I can do up to four at one time. If we look up in the top right under live grid, and I select that, it now brings up a larger window that I can go and select four particular cameras. So again, we'll keep that main shop as one. Let's do front employee parking. Let's do this vehicle entrance here. And let's just look at uh, side gravel. All right, once all those are complete, if you look in the bottom right, you'll see the little blue, it says done. And I select that. And it's gonna bring up a four screen live view grid. From anywhere in here, if I want to get rid of or replace one, once I hover into that image, that live view, there's an X in the top right, it just takes me to three. If I wanna go back and change one of the four or add another one, cause I only had, you know, two or three, I just come into here and simply click on one, click done again in the bottom right. And then now you see uh, it brings those back up in live images. So to get out of here, it's in the top right, simply just go up and hit the X icon. And that takes me back to the page where I had all my thumbnails. 
So again, from in here, I can do a couple things. I can search by just one particular site. So if I just wanted to look back over at the metal company, or maybe if I just want to look at camera type. So this is going to list all of my Turing and all of my third party cameras, or I could search by name. So let's do it quickly. Let's do all sites and let's just look for front. And you'll see here we have front right shipping, front door, front porch face. These are across all of my sites and I could select any one of these I wanted and it would take me right to that one particular camera to where I could go live view on that as well. This completes the training in this section. Please continue on to the next video.